It's lights out and away we go for the sixth round of the Intercore Championship in Silverstone. Uh, Darville gets a good getaway. Gibbo, maybe not so much. He thinks he's got Lee right with him. A little bit of twitch there uh, from Gibbo. Darville's able to get away. Lee looking to go down the inside of Gibbo. Can't quite manage it. Maybe to the next corner. And that's Jackson, I think, um, going for it on Vernon Higgs. And they're still side by side. So Jackson on the medium compound. And now going down the Wellington Strait. Still... Our top three remain unchanged. Hill and Jackson still battling on. So Jackson, with his battle of Vernon Higgs, ended up losing that battle to Vernon Higgs and then losing out to Hill as well. Not his teammate Hill, the uh, Royal Hartman Corps Hill. Looking to go at it in Cops, and I believe there's a Ferrari and McLaren there. Look at those side by side through there. Corey chooses to back out and let Beck have it, but because he chose to back out, he's got Pavey and Morton both right behind him. And that was a little bit of wing I just seen go flying off there. I'm not sure if that was off the um, Alpine of Morton's car. It looks like it is an end plate. Front right end plate of Morton's wing is gone. And now he's under attack from many drivers behind, including Walters and McDonald. And she's going to be losing a bit of downforce. Don't be surprised if he comes into pit. Doesn't want to pit immediately on the hards. She uses to take, go into the runoff as well. And that was a med ball going sideways around there. And now McDonald looking to go for the move on Morton inside of the last corner. Doesn't quite manage it. Still right behind. And he's got Blakey breathing down his gearbox as well. Blakey had a good result last time out. Coming in P4. Looking for a similar. But they both go wide into that first corner there. Blakey and Morton. And now Blakey looking to go down the inside of McDonald. Doesn't quite able to keep a good amount of speed round to stay ahead. And we got a couple bits of movement further up. Jackson has got past Vernon Higgs and so has Hill. So Vernon Higgs on the hard compound. Uh, the medium tyres of Jackson and Hill, they're going to really try and come through early and then put the hards on towards the, the uh, next stint. But Hill using that tyre uh, advantage so far. He's um, still with the top three. It'll be interesting to see how much uh, ERS they have used. Talbot and Geary fighting back. But the top four have um, got a bit of a gap now. So no DRS activated yet. It'll be activated on this next lap. But Jackson's looking to go for it on Hill. Thinks better of it. Doesn't want to go into the club's corner. Great little nose cam here. Darville sets the fastest lap of the race. And Hill is really right behind. He's getting so much better traction. He's going to go for it. He goes side by side around turn one. Um, actually, Jackson backs out of it. But still, he wants to get past Hill so he can protect his teammate Hill from the attack from Hill. Further back, we've got Spinzy in P8, who's battling Vernon Higgs. Vernon Higgs is really suffering on the hards. He's well, probably lost the most positions out of starting on the hard compound. And it's Walters, who is right behind Beck as well. So Gibbo's done what I said he uh, had to do. He had to stay with Darville. For at least the first three laps. Uh, he's managed that. By using a little bit of ERS. He's actually a similar amount to Darville. So maybe Gibbo is with him for pace. And just because he's a little bit slower. Lee and Hill have been able to hang on as well. And Jackson now getting a move done on Hill. And he's now behind his teammate Hill. Very much in a Hill sandwich. But Vernon Higgs, Pavey and Spinzy all coming along. Been a change of positions between Corey and Beck. So Pavey's really uh, made up some places on the uh, soft compound. I don't know if that was a uh, switch of positions there between the Med Bull drivers. Pavey, who has already boxed off the soft onto the hard to go to the end, is right behind McDonald, who's had a couple of issues this 
race so far. Already had a spin. People looking to get done. McDonald goes defensive. Maybe tries to go around the outside, but it was never going to happen. He's going to have to try again. Darvold has got back past Gibbo on that Wellington Street. And Lee's just sitting in P3, just watching this happen in front of him. As uh, Talbot gets a three second uh, time penalty for multiple warnings. I'll maybe looking for the move on McDonald's. McDonald's trying to get the power down here, there, and everywhere. And he is using probably more than a track than he's allowed to. And it's going to affect him. He's already got a few seconds of time penalties. Maybe not wanting to take any massive risks. Could definitely get him here with how much fresher Pavey's tyres are. You know, here he'll have to wait for the DRS zone. Darvel does come into the pits now. He's in the box earlier than the other two. Lee and Gibbo stay out. As, as I was saying, that McDonald does get another three second time penalty for multiple warnings. So he can handle the pressure from Pavey, and Pavey manages to slip on by. Pavey's up to P9, McDonald down to P10. Now, Hill, who's on the hard, sitting P3. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Hill was on the mediums before, so... Oh, no, wrong Hill. I've, I've confused myself. Uh, the other Hill's actually two seconds behind Darville. But are we losing time now? Because Darville's on newer and uh, softer tyres, so... Darville probably won't have to worry about Remy Hill. I'll have to see what our two leaders do. Are they going to box this lap? Follow the same strategy? Or are they trying to gamble for a safety car? Maybe try and slap a set of softs on to go to the end? But they both go in. No one decides to gamble this time out. No one speeds into the pit lane. They'll be right behind each other. As Walt has managed to get by Turner McMullen. He's a B12 at the moment. Right on the edge of the points. Back on board with the pit stop battle. Both right at the end of the pit lane as well. So see how close this is. Lee will get the tyres out first. Does he manage to get out ahead of Gibbo? Not quite Gibbo. Just ahead. But... They couldn't really be closer. Where's Darvel going to be? Darvel comes out ahead of both of them. But does Hill manage to get ahead of either, either of them? No, he doesn't. So our top four back out. And Darvel's got a little bit of a lead. He took, um, really pushed on that outlap. Took advantage of it. Now... Gibbo and Lee need to do that themselves. But they won't have the assistance of Darvill's DRS to help them along. They will have the pressure of Hill right behind to get a move on, though. Takes a, about a lap to warm up these tyres. Maybe a lap and a half for the hards. And Hill, on what tyres are already warmed up, is looking to push Lee on. At least have to use a bit of DRS to bail himself out there. Hill right behind Lee definitely feeling the pressure. Hill's coming for Morgan this time. Right? Morgan finished P3 last time. I think Hill's putting in a good showing. Lee gets back past Gibbo. They may have to DRS jump their way up to Darville. And that is uh, RAC Hill coming into the pits now. And he's really battling the uh, the two med balls with Jackson in tow. And uh, Pavey gets past by Jackson. Jackson up to P7 now. As Darvel sets the fastest lap of the race, so he's not slowing down for anyone. As he continues to make the gap a bit bigger. So it looks like it's going to be a battle for P2 now. P1 
Hill's really suffered from going that long though. He's put on the soft now. So he's got a bit of a, a bit of time to make up. He's come up right in between Vernon Higgs and Corey on the edge of the points. But on that soft compound with the pace he had, he should get by uh, with relatively no drums. Pavey and Werner Higgs still fighting on. Same with Geary and Beck and same with Corey and Walters. Three laps to go. Darvel still leading, leading the way with a two second gap to Gibbo. There's a four second gap to Lee with another four second gap to Hill. But I tell you what, Hill is char charging down Spinzy. This will be a close one, about for P5. See Hill on much fresher tyres and just softs are much better than hards. Beck, McDonald, Blakey all choosing to box. Back of a set of softs on, go for that, try and steal that fastest lap away from Jackson. That's the plan from those three drivers. They've not had great races, so they're planning to at least try and scrape a uh, fastest lap point. We need to get a move on, though, because Darville is coming up close to uh, lapping them. If they do that, that could very much ruin their plans. But down the grid, Walters gets past Corey before Cops. Interesting tactic, because Corey's going to have DRS now right after Magus and Beckett's and then get right back past Walters if he can stay with him through Magus and Beckett's. Actually, was there a little bit of DRS game in there or was that a mistake from Walters? Uh, even though Corey still got the DRS because the detection zone is um, in the middle of Magus and Beckett's. Not really went out. Walters looks to send it down the inside. Corey stays ahead for now. Walters coming back at him. What was stays managed to get that pass done is up to P9. That battle is very much going to the end. Pavy and Vernon Higgs still fighting on. All these points are crucial here. Hill's pace is starting to slow down a little bit. Spinzy sort of got a bit of a move on. Um, Hill really needs to be in DRS this lap. To bring himself close enough to get a pass done on Spinzy. But Spinzy's just getting better exits. He's, he's used a lot of ERS right now. I was now lapping a couple of cars. And now we're on to the final lap of this race. Darville leads. Two seconds behind Gibbo. He's just lapped McDonald's. He's going to attempt a fastest lap now, and he might be able to do it if he can take Darvel's DRS as well. It's just how much fresher those soft tyres are. You see how much faster he is. This might be perfect for uh, McDonald to take the fastest lap. He'll get a bit closer. They got 1.1 seconds now. Both on minimum amounts of ERS. Doesn't look like Hill's quite close enough yet. Pavey's close enough to go for it on Vernon Higgs, though. There was any gamesmanship with the DRS. Beck gets a three second tie penalty from multiple warnings, so he's really pushing to try and take that fastest lap point away from Jackson. He's on the back of Geary. Pavey, now, is he going to go for it? Not this time. He needs to stay with Vernon Higgs into the next couple of corners. That's a Darville, and it's a... It's lap cars left and right. I'm not sure if that was an attempt to try and get a bit more DRS to um, get by, but McDonald is putting a really good lap. And Blakey takes the fastest lap point, but Darville wins for the fourth race in a row, breaks that 100 points, and takes the lead of the driver standings. Gibbo P2, Lee P3. Hill's going to come across in a... Uh, not going to say not going to say easy P4, but like... Just a calm P4. You know, I think he just had a calm race uh, in the middle of that. Spinzy has got Hill all over the back in the last couple of corners now. It's all about the exit. It looks like Spinzy's going to be able to hang on to P5 for now. Regardless, he's got no penalties. P5 for Spinzy. P6 for Hill. 
Great drive from Spinzy. Then it's Pavey and Hill coming through. Pavey's going to finish P7, but his penalty's uh, taken back to uh, P8. And finally for P9 and P10, it's between Walters and Corey as they come across the line now. P9 for Walters, P10 for Corey. Corey was right behind, though. By Jackson, P11. Geary, P12. Not a bad debut at all. And then uh, it's just Beck, Blakey, and McDonald. Oh, wait, no, I think... Are, still, are they still going for faster lap at attempts? Well, Beck's using to go to the pit, so probably not. Um, but Blakey's still going for it. Even though he's already got it. Blakey takes P13, Beck P14. And finally, just waiting for McDonald to cross the line now. He actually got a bit of wing damage for his contact with Talbot. So it's Darvel P1, Gibber P2, Lee P3, UOTC, RLC, and Inkcore on the podium spots. Ooh, well, let's uh, see driver of the day. Oh, I'll have to give, probably give it to Pavey, to be honest. Managed to go from P14 to P8, which is not a bad effort. Thank you.